good morning, and yes, it is still morning, believe it or not. Now here we have one of those machines that you use for like transferring heat transfers. Sorry, the lighting's garbage right now, but let's put it on my trunky trunkerson. Fine, thank you. That's a t-shirt press. It's really? I'm very curious about many things. That is a t-shirt press. I don't think it works anymore, but I don't know what it would take to fix it. My goodness. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So you heard it right from uh, the man himself. It's a t-shirt press. It doesn't work. He doesn't know what it'll take to fix it. But, I'm going to take it anyway. Welcome to another beautiful day of trash picking. You know, we had a week of like, pretty hot days, but this is actually turning out to be a really mild summer. Look, it's a four-wheeler. I don't think I need that. But I need these. car stopping discs. Wow, these are pretty heavy too. They must have came off a truck. Sorry, the lighting's a little bit, you know. It's either all light or all shadow. Not great. Anything in here? That's probably just like their barbecue set. Yeah, we don't need that. Alrighty then. I don't know. I don't think my childhood was incomplete because I didn't have a four-wheeler. We were so happy to ride our bikes, like play in the woods. We didn't need no stinking four-wheelers. All right, we might have address labels here. We might not. So I'll be careful. Is this regular Monopoly or like some special cat and dog Monopoly? And see this says Lego on the side. I don't think it's Legos inside though. No, yeah, maybe. That looks like a Lego thing. Did Legos come with like a big paper puzzle? No, that's not the thing that's supposed to be in there. All right. Now we got some Nissan parts. Ooh, look at them. These are some high caliper calipers. I think what I'll do off camera is I'll just take those little Lego pieces out of that box and actually how dirty is the inside of this box? That's not too bad. Yeah, I guess that works. Kind of works. Kind of works and it kind of doesn't work. Oh, and there's a lot of junk in there too. All right. So, what we'll do is we will, uh,
we'll do the, you know, we'll do the snap thing. See, I took them out of the caliber boxes because I figure I might as well keep this tub. Well, there's some mindless busy work for you. Is that what we're doing out here today? Just transferring things from one container to the other? Wait till you see this glorious thing, which I absolutely hope is made out of brass. I think it is, because I've been doing this for a while. Oh my goodness. It is big. It is bold. It is brass. And it weighs a decent amount too. So, I'll put it on the bike rack so all my competitors can be jealous for the rest of the day. Oof, get on there. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna take pictures of the treadmill from my friend. What is that? Pro form something or other. And we can be on our way. Man, that looks good, doesn't it? Think I should strap it in or just leave it like that? Yeah, I'll just leave it like that. Oh, by the way, in case you watched the last video I made, I ended up going home last night with nine air conditioners. Count them, nine. Oh, I just cut my finger on that thing. Look, I'm bleeding. Oh my goodness, what do I do? Um, that's neat. It's like a, just a cardboard box, but it's got this like, bulletin board material. All right, I wanted to check these out. Those are cool, but they're kind of... Yeah. I don't know. I think we'll take them. I don't know if they're really great, but we can always dump them later if we don't want them. These are just neat. They make a good noise too. So if I get really hot today and start crying, I can call this video blood, sweat, and tears. You know, because there's the blood part of it. Poor me, huh? All right, we gotta be careful because there's address labels on the other side of one of these boxes. But look at this crap. You got the uh, Norelco Smoky. The Leviton Home Programmer. What is that? I never saw one of those before. Guarantee it's worthless, but we'll take it. Ugh. This is like alarm stuff. This guy probably installed alarms for a living or something. You know, like these things are neat. Don't know what the hell that is. There's a secret probe. Circuit tester. I don't know, maybe I should just take all this junk. What do you think? What's that? What's that do? Self-powered electrical circuit tester. Yeah, you know, uh, that stuff is neat, but I don't think I'm gonna take it. I have enough boxes of worthless junk as it is. Anyway, we've documented it so we can move on. This is one of those ordinary suburban houses where you wouldn't really expect that they would put a lot of goodies out. But they usually do have a few things. 
like the world's smallest hammer. Wow. I found this exact same toolkit the other night. And I snatched the pliers out of it just to keep in my desk drawer. So let's do that again. Yeah, this is the main reason I stopped right here though. We got some weight platage. Ow. Got some uh some closed trunkage. No, don't fall off. There's many pliers. I bet if I look around the car I can find the other pair that I grabbed the other night. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, these people almost always put out some little goodies. But you know, the thing is, if you showed me a picture of their house, I wouldn't recognize it. Because I don't really look at the houses, you know? It's just the, uh, it's just the junk pile, you remember? That's a nice seat. I mean, I don't know. Kind of low quality, I guess. But. I don't know if we're really taking bike parts anymore, but what's the harm? So yeah, those people are fun. That was fun, you know? That's what we're trying to do out here. We're trying to have fun and make a ton of money and get a million views. Remember what I always say about don't go up and around the cul-de-sac? Well, that's what I'm doing right here, not going up and around the cul-de-sac. Is that lady who just drove by me in the Jeep? She'd probably take this stuff, I don't know. But I ain't gonna find out. Wow. I should start lifting these instead of just, you know, picking them up and selling them. Wow, look at all this. There's another guy eyeballing it. This is crazy. It's like a full York barbell set. All right, do I really have to walk back and forth with the camera? No, I'll see you in a second. So there it is, and what a fantastic score. We only got three 25 pound plates. My theory is that the lady probably put one out and someone grabbed it and then she put the others out later. Probably 200 pounds of plates total, give or take. Two 30 pound hex dumbbells. And these collars. I never saw round knurled collars before, but those are nice. Gold's gym. Plus we got the curling bar. You know, everything I need to get in shape. Or to uh, make 23 bucks at the scrapyard. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. I got everything reconfigured because it was uh, fixing to be a problem later. But it looks like we have about 205 pounds of weight plates, 210 maybe. Three dumbbell bars with collars, a curl bar with collars, and two 30 pound hex dumbbells. And that is a fantastic score and everything's really clean too. I mean, it was clean until I put it in my trunk, but it's still gonna be clean-ish when I take it out tomorrow. So, what else can I say about some weight plates? I don't know. Weight plates excite me. You wanna go look at a singing nun LP? How do I know there's a singing nun LP in this box? Cause I just gotta see like the edge of it and I know what it is.
Why do nuns go out in public two at a time? One, gun, one nun goes to make sure the other nun gets none. All right, should I be reading these out? The singing nun, Mantobani, Barbara Streisand and James Kahn, Hello Dolly, Andy Williams, Tommy Dorsey, Roger Williams, Alan Sherman, Disneyland, Barbara Streisand, Eve Montan, Firestone, Christmas Music, Tom Jones, Hits of the 50s, The Ink Spots. Is that a good one? Nah. Mel Torme, Sunset Boulevard from Franz Waxman, Glenn Miller, Jesse Crawford, Tony Orlando and Dawn, Scottish Soldiers. Is that a Scottish accent? I don't know. Glenn Campbell, etc. Whatever the hell that is, Glenn Miller and Barry Manilow. Ask me how many boxes of records I've seen in the last 20 years that contain pretty much those exact same records. And the answer would be 10 zillion. Look, it's two guitars. I can tell the one's a first act, I think. And the one's uh, what is it? Austin Bazaar. Can you see that? Never heard of that before. Ooh. It's got an extra sound hole. Is that an impressive claim that it's 100% handmade? All right, what about this hunker junker? You guitar experts out there, should I be taking this? Well, leave your comment in the comments about how stupid I am because I'm not taking it. That pile over there that you can't see because it's in the shade, that's where we started today. And this is where we're gonna finish, right across the street. Because they got copper pipes. One little, two little, three little copper pipes. Four little, five little, six little copper pipes. Seven little, eight little, nine little, ten little copper pipes. Get in the goddamn trunk. I guess we could take this compressor also. That's adorable. And I don't think this black thing is made of copper. I think it's steel. Yeah. So we'll leave that little scrap for the next guy. We'll leave that thing for the next guy. And I will leave you with the rest of your day to enjoy, as I shall do with mine, We've gone around this town once, we've had fun, we found some stuff. What else do you expect? So I appreciate you guys coming along, keeping me company, and until next time, thanks for watching.